Welcome, today, we'll dive into the world of the MIC protein, a master regulator of cellular life. This small protein controls how cells grow, divide, and die. Dysregulation of MIC can lead to cancer. Understanding MIC is crucial for tackling cancer. The story of MIC begins with a gene of the same name. This gene encodes the MIC protein, a transcription factor. MIC binds to specific DNA sequences near its target genes, acting as a switch that turns these genes on. It allows cells to produce the proteins they need to function, respond to their environment, and even determine their identity. The MIC gene itself is tightly regulated in normal cells. Its activity is carefully controlled, ensuring that cells only grow and divide when necessary. However, this delicate balance can be disrupted in cancer. So, what exactly does MIC do? As a transcription factor, MIC binds directly to specific regions on DNA, activating genes essential for cell growth and proliferation. This makes MIC a major driver of cellular processes like growth, metabolism, and even cell cycle regulation. When MIC is present, it can stimulate cells to grow, divide, and survive, core processes for maintaining tissues and organs. The delicate balance of MIC's activity is often disrupted in cancer. In many cancer types, MIC becomes overexpressed, meaning that the MIC gene produces too much of the MIC protein. This overexpression can occur due to various genetic alterations, such as gene amplification, where the MIC gene itself can be duplicated multiple times, leading to increased MIC protein production. Chromosomal translocations can also occur, where the MIC gene is moved to a different chromosome, placing it under the control of strong regulatory elements that drive its overexpression. Additionally, mutations in MIC or its regulators can lead to its constitutive activation, meaning it is always turned on. This uncontrolled MIC activity has disastrous consequences for the cell. The overabundance of MIC protein sends the cell into overdrive, promoting uncontrolled cell growth and proliferation. This relentless division can lead to tumor formation and cancer progression. MIC is a valuable cancer marker due to its central role in cancer development. Overexpression is seen in cancers like Burkitt's lymphoma and lung cancer. In breast cancer, MIC amplification is common in aggressive subtypes, detecting MIC aids in diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment decisions. Methods like immunohistochemistry and PCR assess MIC levels. Scientists rely on a powerful tool to study MIC and its role in cancer MIC antibodies. These antibodies are specialized proteins that specifically bind to the MIC protein. This binding allows researchers to detect MIC protein using techniques like Western blotting and immunohistochemistry to visualize and quantify MIC protein levels in cells and tissues. Additionally, antibodies can be used to purify MIC protein from complex mixtures, enabling detailed biochemical analysis. Some antibodies are even designed to inhibit MIC function, providing insights into its role in various cellular processes and potentially serving as therapeutic agents. MIC antibodies are essential for studying MIC's function, its role in cancer, and for developing new cancer therapies that target this critical protein. Now, let's clear up a common confusion, the difference between MIC protein and MIC tag. The MIC protein is the actual molecule that functions within cells. The MIC tag, on the other hand, is an artificial tag, an additional sequence added to proteins in the lab to help scientists track or purify them. MyC tags are a tool whereas MIC proteins are naturally occurring. MyC tags are widely used in research. They act like labels, allowing researchers to track proteins, visualize them in cells, or isolate them for study. By adding a MIC tag, researchers can use special detection methods to observe proteins under microscopes or through other imaging techniques. In summary, MIC plays a crucial role in cellular processes in cancer, and it's a valuable tool in research through the MIC tag and MIC antibodies. Thanks for watching, and we hope this gave you a clear understanding of MIC and its significance in both biology and cancer research.